so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what's behind me. Whoa, a blue and yellow airplane. Yeah! Did you see how I was acting like an airplane? I sure do love airplanes. But hey, today I'm at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. And today you and I are gonna learn about airplanes. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Blippi Airlines. Where are you heading today? Wow, that sounds like a great destination. Is it for business or pleasure? <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, let's see. You are all checked in. Do you have a bag? <laughs> okay, perfect. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's put the bag on the scale. All right, looks like you're within the limitation. So let me put this on the conveyor belt. Okay, <laughs> well, have a great flight. But wait a second, that sounds like so much fun. Do you mind if I come? <laughs> Perfect, all right, <laughs> there we go. Now I have a ticket too. Okay, let me come around. <laughs> I am so excited for our trip together. <laughs> hey, we have to go through security, all right? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Oh, that means I must have something I shouldn't have on me. Oh, I know what it is. It's just my cell phone. <laughs> All right, I'll put that there. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect, let's go. Wow, look at the airplane. Whoa, look at the fuselage, the cabin, and look at the tail up there. Whoa, this is gonna be such a fun flight. All right, let me put your bag down right here. There you go, bag. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, a fuel truck. Whoa, check it out. Fuel. <laughs> All right, let's grab the hose and let's make sure that the airplane has a lot of fuel. Here we go, let's connect it. Oh, perfect, it's full. All right, here we go. Okay, now that the aircraft has a lot of fuel, now we can Buckle up. Okay, first let's put on our seatbelt. There we go. Okay, now we'll listen for instructions for the flight. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Blippi Airlines. Please mind the aisles and be sure to find the nearest emergency exit. Buckle your seatbelt and make sure it's nice and tight. And in case you need an air mask, it will come down from above. All right, now that we got the safety briefing and passengers are seated, now I think I should fly the airplane. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Wow, so many cool gauges and instruments. Whoa, all right, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, check it out. See this airplane? It's so big! Yeah! I am way smaller than this airplane. And do you see what these are? Yeah! These are called wings. Most airplanes have two wings that go from the side, but not all of them. <laughs> Some have more. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. See the main body of the airplane is called the fuselage. Wow, this airplane is actually used to put people inside and transport them from one location to the other location. Just like, say, a car or a boat or a bicycle, but way quicker. But hey, remember how I said this airplane is so big? Here, come follow me and I have another airplane for you. And it is not very big. Remember how I said that plane is really big? Check this one out. Whoa, yeah, this plane is small. <laughs> well, it's smaller compared to that plane, but I'm sure there's smaller airplanes than that one. But hey, 
What colors do you see on it? Yeah, red, white, and blue. Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> oh, and what shape is that? Oh, yeah, that looks like a star. Whoa, this plane looks like it goes so fast. Whoa! Whoa, check it out. This engine actually goes to an aircraft. Yeah, but there's no outside casing around it. Whoa, it is so big. Look how big it is compared to me. And do you see everything in there? There's so many hoses and tubes and... Oh, geez. So the air goes in right here, gets compressed, fire, and then boom! Whoa! These tires are so big! And there's actually two tires right there. Yeah, we're at the front of the aircraft. So let's head to the back of the aircraft and see how many tires are back here. Whoa! Do you see them? tires back here. Wow, this plane must be really heavy. Yeah, that's probably why they have so many tires. Whoa, and look how big this wing is. If it was raining, I definitely would not get wet. <laughs> Whoa, check out this airplane. It looks like it goes really fast. Hey, what color of airplane is it? Yeah, you're right. It's blue with a little bit of yellow. <laughs> Good job. Whoa, look at how big that airplane is. Whoa, do you see the colors of it? Yeah, it's white, red, and gray. Let's go find some more colors. Whoa, look at this airplane. Do you see something different with it? Yeah, there's two wings over here. And there's two on the other side. Yeah, so it has two sets of wings. That's really cool. But hey, we're here to learn the color of it. <laughs> what color is this airplane? Yeah, you're right. You said green. Good job. <laughs> And look out on the wing We're gonna fly, fly, fly Till we can touch the sky We're gonna soar right through the clouds We're gonna fly, fly, fly We're going way up high On the airplane in the sky We're going to fly Gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky. We're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. We're going way up high on the airplane in the sky. We're going to fly.
Wings with you today at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> do you like airplanes? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how high they fly in the sky. And how they're small airplanes and big airplanes. Wow. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye bye. Hello, it's me, Blippi. Today, we're in Tonino, Washington, in front of a greenhouse. Whoa, do you know what a greenhouse is? Yeah, a greenhouse is a house that houses plants. Yeah, it controls the environment, so then you can make sure that the temperature is just right for the plants to grow really big. <laughs> Let's go inside and check it out, come on. This place is awesome. There are so many plants here. Wow. Hey, look at this one. Yeah, it's a flower. Oh, oh smells so good. Looks so pretty. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Another one. Yeah, what color is this flower? Yeah, it's the color pink. Ooh, and all these leaves. What color are they? Yeah, the color green. Wow, flowers are so cool. You could put them on your tabletop and they look so pretty. Whoa, what kind of plants are these? Oh, they look real small compared to those flowers. Yeah, these are actually called succulents. Huh, interesting. They kind of look like cactuses. Yeah, but they're not pokey or anything. Actually, a cactus? Yeah, that's a type of succulent. Wow, succulents are so cool. Whoa. Ooh, some more flowers over here. Wow, there's so many flowers. A lot of greenhouses have flowers in them, or they could be growing fruits. Hmm, <laughs> I love fruits. And might grow vegetables. Yum! I love vegetables too. I really enjoy eating healthy. Do you eat healthy? Yeah, good job. But hey, what color is this flower? Yeah, it's the color purple. Come on! It's not a flower, it's not a fruit, it's not a vegetable. These look like a type of grass. Yeah, three different types of grasses. Look, whoa, looks like my hair. Hello, hey, <laughs> do I look silly or do I look silly? <laughs> oh, now that is silly. <laughs> Here's another type right here. Whoa, and another type. Whoa! Yeah, do you have grass at your house? You very well might. It's so fun to play in and roll in. Whoa, 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, there's so many plants in here. I enjoy greenhouses. Whoa, look at this. Wow, whoa, a big pot of Flowers. Did you see how it was hanging? Yeah, this looks like a nice, pretty bouquet of flowers. Yeah, a bouquet is where it's a big group of flowers, but typically you cut them off and then you can make a very colorful bouquet. Wow, so pretty. But this is also pretty and it's in a hanging pot. Wow, all right, we have to make sure we put things back 
where we found them. Woohoo! Whoa! Check these out! Wow, so many colors! What colors do you see right here? Looks like that one is pink. That one right there is red. Ooh, look at that one. It's the same color as the sun. Yeah, yellow. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I have a really fun thing for us to do together. Have you ever planted a plant? <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun. Do you see this? Yeah, you know what this is? It's a flower. It's an adult flower. It's really old. <laughs> and look at this one. This looks like a teenager or a baby. It hasn't even created the flower yet, but soon enough, this is going to turn into this. But in order for it to become this size, yeah, it starts out as a seed. Yeah, every single plant, like flowers, I should say, start out as seeds. All right, but the things that every plant needs are sun, water, soil, which is like a house, and nutrition, which is like food. Whoa, all right, so let's create this plant's house or home where we're gonna put the seed. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's scoop up this soil. Oh, <laughs> I'm making a mess, that's okay. <laughs> I'll clean it up after. There we go. All right, this soil has a lot of nutrition already in it. Yeah, there we go. And sometimes the water that you put in this to water it has some nutrition in it as well. All right, so check this out. This right here is a flower seed. Wow, do you see how small it is? Yeah, so cool. So when you put this right in here and you push it down, there we go. Okay, let's cover it up just a little bit. The soil is nice and moist. And then after a while, it's gonna sprout up. And it's gonna be so small and cute. Oh! <laughs> and then it'll grow up to be this. Wow, so green and pretty. <laughs> but when it becomes an adult, it is going to flower. Yeah, good job. All right, so what are the four things that every plant needs to grow? Yeah, it needs some sun. It needs some soil. It needs some nutrition. And it needs some water. Wow. This was awesome. <laughs> Walking through the forest, look at all the trees. They give us lots of air, what we need to breathe. Look at all the critters roaming on the ground. They help carry the seeds to grow plants all around. Flowers are a bloom and making lots of food for all the bugs and creatures. Even me and you We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Together, together We can make a change We're singing the earth song Recycle paper, glass, and plastic Taking care of the earth Will make you feel fantastic You can plant a tree or pick up some trash Ask a friend for help Then it'll be a blast We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Together, together We can make a change Singing the earth 
that song Come learn all about it Together, together It's time we start Let's do our part Let's do our part Let's do our part learning about plants with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> so much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Flippy. Flippy, and look at where we're at! Yeah! Today we're at Pine Ridge Christmas Trees and Pumpkin Station in San Diego, California. <laughs> I love this time of year. Yeah, it's the fall time and I love pumpkin patches. And today you and I are gonna explore a pumpkin patch. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Who are you? How you doing? My name's Mike. Oh, nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you. I'm Flippy. Wow, and look at what you have. This is a massive pumpkin. We grow a lot of these big pumpkins right here on the farm. Wow, it is so big. And I am so excited to explore your pumpkin patch and farm. Whoa. We're happy to have you today. We got 26 acres to explore and learn all about pumpkins. Wow, I'm so excited. All right, see you later. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Check it out. It's a scarecrow. Ooh. And this scarecrow is wearing my two favorite colors. Yeah, blue and orange, woo! Oh. <laughs> wow, scarecrows are so much fun. Yeah, you put them on the farm, so then birds, like crows, don't come up to the pumpkins and eat all the pumpkins. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, this place is awesome. Whoa, look at all these pumpkins. Ooh, this one looks cool. Oh, and this one is so circular. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, a green pumpkin. Whoa. <gasps> Look over here. Come on. Wow. Looks like a photo station. Whoa, so cute. Hey, why don't we have a photo shoot? Let's continue to explore. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Look, I'm a kitty. Oh, I love pumpkins. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. I love pumpkins. And look at all these rows of pumpkins. Whoa, hey, check it out. This wheelbarrow will help us carry these pumpkins. Whoa! All right, I think I found a really great pumpkin. Wow, look at it. Whoa, it's so heavy. Wow, yeah, I could probably put this pumpkin on my front porch. Whoa, <laughs> you can also carve them, put silly faces in them, and make a jack-o'-lantern. Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. Whoa, and have you ever eaten pumpkin seeds? Yeah, you roast them and they're so tasty. Oh, I am so excited. Okay, let me put this in the wheelbarrow. All right, and take it home. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, check it out. The sign says Hayride. Yeah, I think it's time for a Hayride. Let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, look at that wagon. That's where we're gonna sit for the Hayride. Oh, look up here, a tractor is pulling the wagon. Oh, look, it's Mike. Hey, Blippi, how you doing? Hey, Mike, really good. I've had a lot of fun at your farm. That's awesome. You <laughs> learned to explore a lot of different things? Yeah, it's been really fun. <laughs> you ready to go for a hayride? Yeah, I'd love to, let's go. <laughs> wow. All right, let's take the stairs and take a seat. All right, whoa. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa, 
This is gonna be so much fun. So excited to see what we find. <laughs> you ready to go? Yep. Look at all those pumpkins that are growing. Whoa, check it out. Wow, look at all those sunflowers. Wow, they're so tall and yellow. Ooh, and circular. Huh, maybe that's why they're called sunflowers. They look like the sun. Whoa, hey sunflowers. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out! Yeah! Look at all these sunflowers! Wow, they're so pretty! They're so tall, they're yellow. Wow! Oh, and look at this one! Yeah, this doesn't look like a sunflower. Yeah, it's not big and yellow and circular. But this is a baby sunflower. And it's just trying to open up. And look at this! Whoa! After a while, the yellow petals will become open and enjoy the sun. <laughs> and then, after it grows to be an adult sunflower, it becomes really big. Look at this one right here. Whoa, it is so big. Wow. And do you see how this sunflower has no sunflower seeds? Yeah, because this is a decorative sunflower. Yeah, they're so pretty. But some sunflowers have sunflower seeds and you can eat them, and they're healthy. Yeah! And did you see all these bees around here? Yeah! The bees are very important because the bees cross-pollinate from the pumpkins to the sunflowers. So cool! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Have you ever been curious about how a pumpkin grows? Hey, let me tell you. This sign says how a pumpkin grows. All right, it first starts as a seed and then the seed gets planted in the soil. You put a lot of sun and a lot of water on it, and then it grows into a green vine. Wow! And after the green vine grows a little bit, a yellow flower appears. Yeah, and then bees fly all around it, lands on it, and goes around, and then it gets pollinated. And check it out. Yeah, a green pumpkin appears. Yeah, they start out to be really small. Then they grow big and big, and then as time goes on, the pumpkins turn from green to orange. They can also be other colors, like white, red, and things like that. But you probably know pumpkins as orange. Wow! That's how a pumpkin grows from a seed to a big orange pumpkin. Yeah! Whoa! Check it out! We got an awesome pumpkin! Wow, it's so circular! This is going to be such a great pumpkin, Flora. <laughs> yeah! Corn maze entrance. <gasps> Corn maze? Do you know what a maze is? Yeah! It's where you start at one location, you end at the other, but there's a lot of ways that you don't want to go because there's only one correct way. And this corn maze is made out of corn. Come on, let's go! Wow. Okay, now this is the entrance. Whoa, look at it. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> it looks like we go down here. All right, come on. Wow. These corn stalks are really tall. Whoa. Yeah, they block from us going that way or that way. Yeah, there's only one way to go right here. So let's keep going. Looks like there's a corner right here. Okay, looks like we're gonna go this way. Oh, look, <laughs> another straightaway, come on. Oh, another corner. All right, <laughs> this corn maze is amazing. And check it out. Yeah. Oh, here's a piece of corn. Yeah, right here. Oh, hello. Yeah. And this 
kind of corn is called maize corn. Whoa. Okay, let's keep going, come on. Wait a second, look. Looks like we could go this way. Whoa. Yeah, do you see down there? Huh. Or we could go this way. Huh. Which way should we go? Should we go this way? Or should we go this way? <laughs> Let's go this way. Uh-oh, this is the wrong way. Let's go back that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> come on. Oh, this must be the right way. Yeah, come on. Wow, this corn maze is so much fun. You get to make all of these decisions. You can go left, you can go right. Yeah, and then you get to figure out if you're correct or not. Okay, uh-oh, look at this. We can go this way. Whoa, does this look like the right way? Or we could go this way. Whoa, huh, let's see here. Let's go this way, <laughs> come on. Whoa, all right, come on. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa, this is taking a while. I wonder if we're gonna get out of here. Okay, another corner. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, come on. Feels like we're going around and around in a circle, but I think we're going the right way. Well, I hope we're going the right way. Huh, have we been here before? Let's see, we went left, we went right, and we went left, and we went right, and right, and left, and right, and left, 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 right, right. I don't know, let's keep going. Wow, I love corn mazes there. Wait a second. <laughs> Here's another option, look. We can go this way, or we could go this way right here. Or it even looks like we have another choice right here. Whoa. <laughs> or we have another choice right over here. Whoa, okay, so we have three choices. Hmm, what should we do? Why don't we go? on this one, the very end. Yeah, the end for the end. Yeah, maybe that will have us complete the corn maze. Or we'll have us start all over again, who knows? <gasps> Come on! Whoa, we did it! Oh yeah, we did it! We made it to the end of the corn maze. That was so much fun. Here you go, go. Here you go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, here's a bunch of goats. Oh, are you hungry? Yeah, there you go. Wow, these goats are so cute. Oh, here you go. Looks like we have some big adult goats right here. Oh, you want some? Wow, and do you see these youngsters? Yeah, they're actually called kids. Whoa, ooh, it looks like they're so hungry. Yeah, a young goat is called a kid. Wow, and look, they're eating all this hay. Yeah, it's actually alfalfa. Yum, <laughs> yum for goats. Whoa, look at them. Whoa, it's a hay shower. Here you go. Oh, okay, you just want a bunch. <laughs> wow, whoa, okay, I'll set that down right here for all of you. Wow, they feel so soft. Oh, let me get that hay alfalfa off of you. Oh, here you go. Whoa, look at them. They are so cute. Wow, and actually all of them have a name on their name tag. Hey, what's your name? Look at this one. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> oh, hey, look at you. What's your name? Can I see your name? Ooh, this one's name is Ellie Mae. Wow, what a cute name. Oh, and look at her eyes. Wow, do you see her pupils? Wow, 
Yeah, her pupils are the shape of a rectangle. Wow, that was really cool. Whoa, hey goat. <laughs> wow. Let me see if I can pick one up. They actually, these ones love when I pick them up. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Oh, oh. I'll get you some more food later. Oh, yeah. Oh, here you go. Oh, look how cute it is. Yeah, and he's just eating some hay. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh, oh, goat. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> look at her goatee. Wow, so cute. <laughs> here you go. You want some alfalfa? Wow, there you go. Whoa, look at it. You comb it? It's so straight. <laughs> wow, and it's so soft. Feels just like my hair. Wow. <laughs> See you later. Here you go. <laughs> what a fun day. Yeah. We learned so much together today. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Flippy. Good job. All right, happy pumpkins. <laughs> See ya. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi. Whoa, and look at where we're at. Whoa, what a cool store. Hey, wait a second. We're at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Yeah, do you know how I like to dance? Whoa, yeah. Wow, this place is where you can come and dance in one of their studios, and you can even maybe take a dance lesson. Woohoo! <laughs> This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Oh, hey. Hello. Who are you? My name is Emily. Who Ooh. are you? I'm Blippi. I'm here for the class. Awesome. Sounds like so much fun. Yeah, what should I do? So, you can go ahead and go back into the studio and I'm gonna be able to teach you a dance class today. Okay. So okay. go ahead and start stretching. Okay, let's go stretch and get warmed up. Let's go. Whoa, check it out. This is a dance studio. This is where you and I are gonna learn our dance from Emily. Whoa, check it out. There's some nice smooth floor. Yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> Whoa, 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 look at this. This, yeah, this looks like a mirror. Whoa, hello, hey. <laughs> Yeah, dance studios have mirrors right in front of you, so then you can practice your dance moves. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Wow! <laughs> and see how you did. I definitely nailed that one. <laughs> okay, remember what Emily said? Yeah, we need to stretch and we need to warm up before she comes in to teach us our dance lesson. Okay, first things first, I need to take off my shoes. Okay, let's put them right over here. Now we need to stretch. Yeah, we need to stretch our muscles really far and wide so we do not injure ourselves. So first, let's stretch down. See how I'm stretching? Oh, I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> Now, we need to warm up, she said. Yeah, that means we need to get our body moving in some way or another. I mean, you could jog if you want. Yeah, you could jog. You can do some squats. <laughs> wow, or you can just do some sweet dance moves to warm up. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Oh, hey Emily, yeah, I love learning and I love dancing. <laughs> sure. Awesome, would you like to see it first? Yeah, okay, 
she'll show me the dance first, and then I'll learn it. Whoa, that looks really hard. But I think I'm up for it. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna start really close to the floor. So you wanna make a ball pose. You wanna get really close into your knees, right? Okay. Yes, from here you're gonna hold four counts. So you're gonna count in your head. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna make a big star pose, jump your legs out, reach your arms way up to the sky. And you hold this for four counts, and we're gonna count it five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're going to shake your hips side to side with big arms, starting to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now we're gonna learn what's called a grapevine. Yes? Ooh, okay, yeah. I don't see any grapes though. <laughs> Silly goose, it's a dance move. So oh, you're gonna okay. start with your hands on your hips. You're gonna step out with the right foot. You step out to the side. You cross this next foot behind, your left foot behind. Then you step out again. Then you're gonna jump together and clap on count four. <laughs> and then you're gonna step out to the side on the left. Step out to the side. Cross that right leg behind. Step the left foot out, out. Jump, clap together. Good. Okay. Then from here, we're gonna make strong arms down at our sides. You're gonna step, touch side to side. So you step out with the right foot, out, then step together with that left foot, together. Step with the left foot out, right foot together. Step right foot out, left foot together. Good. Step left foot out, right foot together. <laughs> now, last thing we need to learn. You're gonna step out with your feet, hands are gonna go into your knees. You're gonna bounce two times. Ready, you bounce. One, two, then you do two claps. Clap, But it has to stay at the same tempo as the music. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you bounce. One, two, clap. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide apart oh. because we want to be confident when we dance, right? Oh, okay, yeah, confidence. Absolutely. So we always want to make sure we have nice wide feet. Close feet, not so much. You want nice wide feet. So you do okay. want to try every single move nice and slow all together. Okay. All right. Now remember, we have to count in our head to eight. Okay. Was that it? That was it. Whoa. That was it. I just learned the full dance and I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I think we're ready. Okay, awesome. let's hit that music. And good job to you. Thank you so much, Flippy. Yeah, well, thank you for teaching me and them how to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, check this out. Emily's doing another dance. Come on. Whoa, this style of dancing is called jazz. It looks like so much fun! <laughs> you know jazz? Yeah! It's a type of music! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Whoa! Do you see what Emily's doing now? Yeah! She's doing ballet, <laughs> and she's actually using the ballet bar. Check it out.
That is so cool. And this type of dancing is so elegant. Wow. I've been having so much fun dancing today. Woo! <laughs> what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Do you like dancing? Yeah, I like dancing because it's a great way to get out your energy and exercise. Yeah, I love being healthy. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I teach you a dance so then you and I can dance together? Would that be fun? Yeah! Okay, the first thing about dancing is what's called rhythm. Yeah, every song has rhythm. It's basically the beat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clap my hands and then you clap your hands with me at the same time, okay? Ready? Good job! Yeah! You feel this? Yeah! This is rhythm! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Good job! Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again, but now we're gonna want to move our legs to the rhythm, okay? Ready? Here we go! we go. We got it. Double time. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now that we understand rhythm and beats, now we can learn the parts of the dance, okay? First thing, yeah, you see this up there? Yeah, what machine is that? Yeah. That is a bulldozer. So we're gonna dance as if we're bulldozers. First, you need to put your hands up like it's the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you need to move your legs and dance like a bulldozer. Yeah, there we go. We're totally like bulldozers. I love bulldozers. Whoa! <laughs> okay, all right, so that's gonna be the first dance move. And then, the second dance move, yeah, we're gonna act like kangaroos. Yeah, do you know what a kangaroo is? Yeah, whoa, <laughs> such cool animals. <laughs> okay, the cool thing about kangaroos is how high they can jump. All right, put your hands like this, and then jump really high. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I bet you can do that one really good at home. <laughs> okay, now the third dance move we're gonna do is... Yeah, that's a dinosaur, isn't it? What kind of dinosaur is that? Yeah, a T-Rex! Good job! Okay. So, the funny thing about T-Rexes are they have short little hands, yeah, like that. <laughs> but they're actually really fierce, so you have to act fierce. <laughs> okay, but now we need to put that all into rhythm and a beat, yeah, and then you act like a T-Rex. <laughs> Okay, those are the three dance moves. But now, remember, we need a rhythm and a beat. So, hit it, DJ. Remember the first one? Yep, bulldozer dance. Good job! <laughs> Plow the dirt! Wow! 
That was really good. I'm really proud of you. That was such a good bulldozer dance. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into the second dance move. Remember it? It was an animal. And it jumps really high. Yeah, a kangaroo. Ready? Wow, wow, kangaroos are so cool. They can jump so high. Woo! All right, shake it off. Okay, now for the third dance move, the T-Rex. Ready? Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah, rah. Oh, oh, I am so tired. Did you see that? Yeah, that was so much fun doing all those sweet dances today at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Wow. <laughs> I sure do love the dance. Hey, if you're around this area, you can come and do the very same creative movement class that I did today. Wow, that was so much fun. Or, yeah, I'm sure you have a local performing art studio where you can learn to dance. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dances you can do, like jazz and tap and ballet. Whoa, even acro. <laughs> That sounds like so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. All right, I'm gonna go and take a nap now at home. I am so tired. <sighs> Hey, it's me, Flippy, and today we are here at Sun Buggy Fun Rentals in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am so excited because we get to learn all about different kinds of vehicles <laughs> that go really, really fast. And if we're lucky, maybe we can even drive one. <laughs> Come on, let's go explore. This place. What's Hi. up, Blippi? Hi, what's your name? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Whoa! And what is this vehicle you're working on? Right here we have a dune buggy. Whoa, a dune buggy? Well, why do you call it that? We actually specifically designed these machines for the dunes, for hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> Whoa, I love hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> this vehicle is awesome. Whoa, and check it out. It has a really big wheel and tire. <laughs> yeah. And you see, this tire has lots of really big treads to grab the sand and the dirt so it can go really fast up those hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> and also has shocks. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and check it out. It's also my favorite color. One of my two favorite colors. Orange! <laughs> uh, but Matt, this looks a little different from a regular car. I can see through it. <laughs> we actually make it like that so the roll cage keeps you safe and you have fun. Whoa, that's always good. Be safe when you're having fun. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. It's the engine. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. Looks like this dune buggy can go really fast. <laughs> These dune buggies can go 35 miles an hour in the sand. Whoa, 35 miles per hour in the sand. <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, I really wish I could ride one of these dune buggies. <laughs> well, do you want to go out to the desert and try one? Would I? That would be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at this place! It's so big! <laughs> and really sandy and sunny. <laughs> Matt, where are we? We're in the Mojave Desert. Whoa! The Mojave Desert? Awesome! It sure is sandy here. And it looks like there are lots of hilly sand and 
looks like sand everywhere, really. <laughs> yeah, those hills are sand dunes. Oh, sand dunes? Did someone make them? No, nope, just nature, wind and sand. Oh, that's so cool. Wait a minute, sand dune, dune buggy. Do we get to ride on the sand dunes? Just you today. <laughs> awesome. I am so excited to ride on a sand dune and drive a dune buggy. Whoa, check it out. Look at all these vehicles. <laughs> hey, I know this one. It's a dune buggy. Mm, but Matt, what are th what's this vehicle over here? This one over here? Yeah. This is a UTV, a utility vehicle. Whoa, a UTV, awesome. It looks kind of like a dune buggy. It has four wheels. One, two, three, four, but you can't see through it. <laughs> and it looks a little bit different. It also has uh, one of these. What's it has a called? roll cage, just like the dune buggy. Oh, cool. A roll cage, so it's nice and safe. <laughs> uh, but Matt, what's this back here? Is this, this is a trunk? <laughs> this is a bed like a truck. Whoa, that's really handy. So I guess if you're on a farm and you need to put tools in it, yeah. you have a trunk. So Ooh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, and check it out. There's another vehicle over here. <laughs> Whoa. This one is our ATV. This is an all-terrain vehicle. ATV, all-terrain vehicle. <laughs> awesome. Whoa. It's a little bit smaller than the other two, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks super fast <laughs> and has four wheels, but Matt, it doesn't have a steering wheel. No steering wheel? These are called handlebars. Whoa, just like a motorcycle or a bicycle? <laughs> this looks pretty fun, but I want to ride the dune buggy over the dunes. <laughs> I'm also really excited to ride it because it's one of my two favorite colors, orange. <laughs> okay, Matt, I think I'm all ready to start driving, but What's the first thing I need to know before I drive the dune buggy? The first rule for driving dune buggies is always safety. Safety first. <laughs> okay, I want to be really safe, so what's the first safety thing I need to know? So we're going to get you inside of the dune buggy and we're going to put your seat belts on first. Okay, seat belt first. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get your seat belt on. Awesome. Here we go. And this buckle here is going to connect your two seat belts. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go all strapped in. So what's the next thing I need? Next, and this dune buggy is going to be your hand straps. These okay. keep your hands inside of the ride at all times. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Great. Okay. And, uh, but how do I drive the dune buggy? So this dune buggy is automatic, just like a car. Ooh, uh, so where do I put the key? <laughs> no key today. <laughs> you just have a switch and a button. Okay. So when you're ready to go, switch goes up, you hit that button, and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> First, let's get your helmet, okay? Okay, we'll put on the helmet. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, helmet on. All right, now, make sure your helmet is strapped tight. Pull the strap through the loop. Perfect. Ooh, and goggles! <laughs> okay. We want to put on our goggles so we don't have any sand in our eyes. <laughs> It looks like I'm all ready to go. All right, have fun, Blippi. Woohoo! See you soon. You did great! Yeah! <laughs> you want to try the ATV now? Yeah! Come on! Let's, let's try go. it out! Alright, so this one, a little easier than the dune buggy to start. So you have your key on the right side there. Go ahead and turn your key for me. Okay. Key's on. 
All right, so now with that thumb, press that button there for me. This one right here? Yep. Okay. Whew. And where's the gas pedal? So, where your thumb is, that's your gas pedal. Okay, here we go. You did great. <laughs> that was so much fun. Well, we rode the dune buggy and the ATV. You want to try the UTV? <laughs> yeah. All right, don't forget your seatbelt, just like your car. Here we go. And this one is like the ATV. Turn your key to the right, and it'll go ahead and start. OK. Have fun. Here we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you know what kind of vehicle makes that sound? <laughs> yeah! A truck or a car! Hey! For this next song, let's dance like we're driving a car! Hit the gas! Hit the gas! Hit the brake! Hit the brake! Hear the engine! Hear the engine! Do a figure eight! Do a Well, you can tell when your car needs to go fast You wanna put your foot down and hit the gas If there's something ahead and you need to make A sudden stop, then hit the brake It's alright, and it's okay Make sure that you look both ways With your hand at nine and your hand at one Let's go for a drive, let's have some fun Hit the gas Hit the gas Hit the brake Hit the brake Hear the engine Figure eight. Do a figure eight. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Flippy buggy. Flippy buggy. All day and night. All day and night. Now you can see from the mirrors on my car. From behind, I can see very far. This is important if I need to break, or especially when I overtake. It's all right, and it's okay. We take it at our own pace. One hand at ten, the other at two. Go for a ride, you know what to do. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. Hit the brake. Hit the brake. Hear the engine. Hear the engine. Do a figure eight. some good driving. <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! 
I had so much fun with you here at Sun Buggies in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we learned so much together. We learned all about ATVs, UTVs, and dune buggies. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Lippy, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Let's ride. <laughs>ski hill in leavenworth washington <laughs> it is a winter wonderland today and you and i are gonna have some fun in the snow let's go Whoa, that was so much fun whoa did you see what i just did yeah i rode this inner tube down that hill but that hill wasn't that big but hey, here we have a bigger hill and we have a machine to tow you up to the hill. So then you don't have to walk all the way up there. I'll show you that soon. But first, this is an inner tube. Whoa, this inner tube has a red cover on it. Whoa, it protects the inner tube. The actual inner tube is black and rubber on the inside. See, and then there's an inner tube leash. And this ring is what the hook hooks onto. That then it tows you up to the top of the hill. Woo Whoa! Let's go check it out. Okay, check it out. So this machine, yeah, there's cables there. There's gears. Check out the gears. Whoa, do you see those gears spinning around? And that is what is providing all its strength and power for these hooks right there to tow the tube and the person to the top of the hill. All right, let's hook one up and then we'll watch the inner tube go. All right, I have a game to play. Let's count how many tubes we see, all right? One. Two. Three. Four tubes. All righty, good job. We just counted to four together. Now, I have another game. This one's pretty simple. What shape is this inner tube? Hmm, it's not a square. Is it a triangle? No, it's the same shape as a tire. Yeah, it's a circle. Whoa! Good job. Hey, check it out. Look at what this is. This is a black rubber mat. It's really heavy. Ugh. And this is a gray carpet. Yeah, just like maybe carpet that you might have at home. Yeah, these mats and carpets are placed on the inner tube path to help slow you down. Because if not, maybe you'd go too fast and go off a big jump. <laughs> All right, here I go. Whoa!
Um. <laughs> Oh, check it out! What a cool machine this is! The great thing about ski hills are they have really cool machines to maintain the land! Whoa, check it out! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah, this is a track! Yeah, this vehicle has tracks! Interesting! Most vehicles have wheels and tires. But not this one, this one has tracks, so then it can dig into the snow, and then it won't slip and slide. <laughs> Let's check it out. Woo! Oh, that's backwards. Oh, check it out! Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm riding a bike! Isn't this weird? I'm riding a bike on snow? Yeah, normally you ride a bike on concrete and dirt and asphalt, but check this out. Do you see this bike's tires? Yeah, they're so big and wide! Whoa! That is way wider than a normal bike tire. Yeah, these tires are called fat tires. So then they can grip more snow. So then you don't slip and slide. Wow, this bike has some good tread. Let's roll. This is snow, Ooh, and it's really cold. Now that it's so cold outside, put on your hats and gloves, and sip some nice warm cocoa from a mug. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> now that it's snowing outside, everyone's having fun. Let's take the snowboard out for
been so much fun playing in the snow with you today. Wow, I sure do love the seasons. Yep, and wintertime is such a great time of the year. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Blippi. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. I just finished writing a lot of invitations for a party next week. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm excited because I'm going to make a really yummy dinner. <laughs> Can you guess what I'm going to make for dinner? I'll give you a hint. Hmm. It has a lot of toppings and can be made really big so a lot of people can share it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to have a pizza party. <laughs> and I know the perfect place that we can learn how to make pizza. Oleo pizza. <laughs> Come on. This is going to be so much fun. I'll see you there. Hey, it's me, Plippy. And today we're here in our real life pizza kitchen. Yeah. So we're going to learn how to make pizza. Oh, I'm so excited. But first things first, we got to put on our gloves. So here we go. One, and we'll put on another one. <laughs> here we go. Great, we got our gloves on and we're all ready to make some pizza. Oh, hey, hey uh, what's your name? Hey, my name is Michael. Uh, hi, Michael. Uh, can you teach us how to make some pizza today? Yes, no problem. I want to teach how to make the pizza. Oh, okay. okay the first thing, you need to take the spatula. Okay. Flour. Okay. Uh, this is the dough, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, you need to put the, a little bit of flour in the top. You take it out the dough. And you put again in the flour, okay? Okay. After that, you need to split a little bit of flour in the, in the flour. You push a little bit, you take it out the, the air. Whoa. After okay. that, you need to shape a little bit. Push it. Nice. <laughs> and you start shaping. Ooh, it's so stretchy and stringy. <laughs> yeah. Shape it, shape it, shape it. And when it's almost done, you need to put again right here. Whoa. You're really good at making pizza, Michael. Yeah. After that, you need to put tomato sauce. <gasps> oh! This is sauce. Whoa! Look at that! With a spoon. <laughs> you need to put the shaver right here. Okay. Whoa! After that, you need to put the cheese. Okay, cheese. And this is a Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese! It's so good, yes! And this is a mozzarella cheese. Mmm, yummy! Oh. So and then fresh basil. Oh, fresh basil. <gasps> you cut Ooh, it out. So yummy. And the small oh. pieces. <laughs> Make it nice. Ooh. And a uh, cherry heirloom tomatoes. Ooh, tomatoes. Mm. After that, you need to put like olive oil. Okay. <gasps> and that's the pizza ready for the oven. <laughs> yeah. That pizza looks so yummy. <gasps> this pizza goes to the oven, okay? Yeah. <laughs> now, you make yeah, can I make okay, a pizza no too? Okay. Here Here's we go. The flour. Take the flour. Put the flour on the top. Whoa. Take it out. <laughs> okay, take so, it. With. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. We put in the flour. We'll put it in the yeah. flour. Play with the dough. <laughs> kind of sticky. Here we go. And we're gonna take it out again. Take it out. Push it. Take it out the, the air. Yeah. Okay. We'll push all the air out and the bubbles out of the pizza dough. Whoa! Ooh, it's so stringy. Woo! <laughs> so silly. Okay. Here we go. Keep pushing out all those bubbles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Keep doing it. Keep pushing it out. A little bit, yeah. You can flip a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Whoa. It's starting to look just like a pizza. Whoa. This is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Whoa. A little bit more. <laughs> you are really good at this. <laughs> Whoa. You can put tomato sauce inside. Yeah. You can put Whoa. tomato sauce. 
Look at this. This is really yummy tomato sauce. Whoa! <laughs> okay, now let's put the tomato sauce on the pizza. Here we go. Whoop. And then we're gonna mix it around. Okay. Parmesan cheese. Nice. And now we have our Parmesan cheese. So yummy. Ooh. Put a little on there. And the mozzarella cheese. And we got some mozzarella. Oh, whoa. This cheese is really cool because it's in all kinds of shapes. Do you know what kind of shape this mozzarella cheese is? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a triangle. Okay, so I'll put some of those little triangles and squares. Hmm, put some more squares. More squares. <laughs> Whoa, like, okay. After that, you need to put the basil a little bit. Um, some basil. Fresh basil. Fresh basil, yummy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of basil. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, olive oil on the top. And a little bit of olive oil, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> so silly. And that's the margarita bit, so you can put the tomatoes too. Okay, we'll put a couple tomatoes that have been chopped in half that are also really yummy. We'll put those on top. <gasps> and now the pizza is almost ready to go in the oven. <laughs> awesome. That's it. Well, Very Michael, easy. thank you so much for Michael. teaching me how to make a pizza. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for helping me make some yummy, yummy pizza. <laughs> Good job. Now, let's go put these pizzas into the oven. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <gasps> you, need to, you move a little bit, because you sure you're not stuck in the pizza? And you put into the oven. Whoa, it's really hot in this oven. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be all done. <laughs> let's go put the other pizza Let in. Let me put the other one. Yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> This. Ooh. Make sure the toppings oh. is good. Whoa! Whoa! Look at it! Man. There's a big fire inside this pizza oven. It's really, really hot, and uh, it you helps wait to like cook the pizza. You wait like 30 seconds after that, you can flip the pizza, okay? <laughs> Whoa! Well, now all we have to do is wait for the pizza to get done. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a pizza dance. Here we go. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> okay, it looks like the pizza is almost ready. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. The pizza almost done, almost done. is almost done. The pizza was really small, but because the dough has flour and yeast, when it gets really hot, the dough begins to rise and it becomes a delicious pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning how to make pizza at Oleo Pizza. It was so delicious. Hey, did you know that pizza originally came from Italy? <laughs> yeah. And it makes me really want to learn how to speak Italian. So, I invited my good friend Francesca over. <laughs> I think that's her. Hello? Hi, Puppy. Hi, Francesca. <laughs> I'm so excited to learn Italian. We just learned how to make pizza. Do you think you could teach us some Italian? Si, certo. Whoa, <laughs> that was Italian. <laughs> and I said, of course. Ooh, I'm so excited to learn. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. So, first, maybe we should learn our numbers. Okay, let's count to five together. Okay, here we go. Zero. 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 <laughs> Uno. Uno. One. Due. Due. Two. Ooh. <laughs> tre. Tre. Three. Cuatro. Cuatro. Ooh. <laughs> Which is four. Cinque. Cinque. Whoa. Five. Whoa. We did it. We counted to five. <laughs> okay. So we learned how to count in five to five in Italian. Maybe we can learn how to say our colors. <laughs> Rosso. Rosso. Red. Verde. Verde. Green. Ooh. <laughs> Giallo. Giallo. 
Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> and your two favorite colors. Orange and blue. Yes. Arancione. Arancione. Orange. Orange. <laughs> and blue. 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 <laughs> Whoa. That was so awesome. But I still feel a little bit hungry. Hmm. Maybe Francesca can teach us some food. Okay. So, cibo. Cibo. Food. Ooh. <laughs> Aqua. Aqua. Water. Water. <laughs> Pane. Pane. Bread. <laughs> Torta. Torta. Cake. Cake. I love cake, especially birthday cake. Do you like cake too? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Pizza. 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 <laughs> well, that one was pretty easy. Well, thanks so much for teaching us Italian, Francesca. You're welcome, Blippi. Hey, will you dance the pizza dance with us? Of course. <laughs> yeah. And you can dance along too. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited to do the pizza dance with you. Okay, stand up and dance along with us. <laughs> yeah. Step into my kitchen for a very tasty treat. With saucy sauce and cheesy cheese, these flavors can't be beat. Your mouth will start to water when you see what we can make. A little piece of Italy, the most delicious bake. Grab some dough, roll that dough, and toss it in the air. Then take a scoop of saucy sauce and spread it everywhere. Don't forget your toppings, extra cheese, sure sounds nice. Open wide and take a bite of a warm, delicious slice. That was awesome! Woo! Great job! It was so much fun, Blippi. Thank you for having me here. It was so nice to have you. And thank you for dancing along and learning with us. Bye, Francesca. Bye, everyone. Bye, Blippi. That was so awesome! <laughs> we learned about so much today. How to make pizza, how to speak Italian. <laughs> it was great! Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, let's spell it together. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. It's me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather, <laughs> or a rock. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is going to be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah. Do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. OK, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple, and this one is an orange. Yum! 
I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's going to be heavier and what one's going to be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah. The feathers were so big. And then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right. Now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense because they're actually gonna be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect, all right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay, all right, one quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and, what? Perfect. Okay, oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa, I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount of volume, one quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. 
Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale, and we get to see which one is more dense. Which one is heavier? Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines, are really, really, really heavy. Let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Pushing rubble and sand oh, oh, oh. Bulldozer Constructing the roads oh, oh. Move over, it's about to roll It's a yellow tracked machine oh, oh, oh. Found on mines, farms and factories oh, oh, oh. It can push most anything oh, oh, oh. Bulldozer stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up Rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front And the claw on the back It can help you build a home Just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer And they can move through some rough terrain They can move all kinds of things Bulldozer, clearing the land Pushing rubble and sand oh, oh, oh. Bulldozer Constructing the roads oh, oh, oh. Move over, it's about to roll Bulldozer Clearing the land oh, oh. Bulldozer Pushing rubble and sand oh, oh, oh. Bulldozer Constructing the roads oh, oh. Move over, it's about to roll Roll, roll on, bulldozer Machine. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. Better move over. Here comes the it's bulldozer. It's a machine. Ring, ring. <laughs> right, put in the blocks. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy.